first session we covered the vision. Yes. And we're talking about the why, what, and how of discipleship. Yes, sir. And the second session we covered the strategy. What is the strategy of discipleship? We how do we win? It's in, up, in, up, out. In. That's the strategy. Yeah. Make sure that you're having a relationship with God. You're prayerful. Yes. You know your disciples yes. by name. Yes. You meet them regularly. Yeah. You are turning them into apostles. Yeah. You see, for me, the reason that I'm a fairly successful discipler is my disciples are fairly. apostles. <laughs> yeah, they've, they are, they've gone I'll and they are, leading, they, are leading, <laughs> they are leading. They are leading. They are leading networks. They are taking over districts hey. and nations. Come on now. Yeah, you. What are your disciples hey. taking over? Messy, 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 messy. Um, you can explain. <laughs> All right. Mm. Also, the comments, eh? <laughs> anyway, they will s the, the tech team you will people. sort <laughs> and they will advise because we are going to have to give these gifts away. I don't know. Surely. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know whether people are even still listening. No, or, they are no longer they listening. <laughs> Just engage. Tight. Whatever you can do, engage. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be saying something that you is people. in line with what we are saying. Uh, yeah. If you're saying are your you own saying, things. Look at like Pastor even Sharon and me. Well, her comment is nebi, nebi. Nebi, 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 nebi. Nebi, nebi, we are here. <laughs> We should do this for MC I've Live. I've the other thing. Pastor Jeremy, I'm MC sending Live. you greetings. We should always have a gift for the Most top engaged 10 engaged MCs. MCs. Yes. Yeah, for yeah, MC yeah, Live. This is yes. very serious. Today, for the top five engaged <laughs> zones and locations, we have a gift. We're going to work on it. All right? <laughs> and I hope we don't have multiple people with, the, with multiple devices in the same room. Uh, uh, Please. So funny. Posting. Yeah. So funny. Thing. But Pastor Jeremy, Pastor B3 is shining today. That's Isaac Baker. People have already started trying to bribe that. that. <laughs> what a no shock. They are listening to the teaching. <laughs> <laughs> they have other strategies now. <laughs> this well, is so let's funny. Let's focus. <laughs> let's just focus. Hey, 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 people are sending animals, emojis. What? My wow. God. Oh, this wow. is serious. This is very... Serious. Sandra Subi, we have seen you okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Elder Kisha. <laughs> Even people I didn't know were watching. And now <laughs> but the speed at which the things are exactly. going up, I, ca I can't. You can't even read. read like you can't. This wow. Is unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Post the same message. I think people have posted the same message. Paste, 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 Please paste, stop paste, posting paste, the same paste, message. Paste, 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 paste. Anyway. So the strategy is up, in, out. That's how you will win as a disciple. That's how I will win. Your relationship with God, relationship with your disciples, and serving the world, the world frontiers, and all of that. So I want us to talk about some practicals. Yes. For missional communities. Wow. Practical aspects of missional community leadership and health. Wow practical aspects of mission. You know what? Something you're going to do for me. What am I going to do? In the next maybe three weeks. Yes. Is come up with an MC leader's handbook. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Things that we have already been teaching. Mm -hmm. But just a few pages. It should be digitalized and also a printed copy. Things like PEG, yeah. Bless Principles, yes. uh, no. PEV, invitation, yes. invitation and Challenge, yes. The learning the circle, learning circle. Yes. up in out, uh, the vision of Matthew, the different points. Uh, the discipleship math. Yeah, the discipleship math. The authority. Authority, this discipleship authorities, uh, continuum mm -hmm. circle. All of that. Let's have an MC leader's handbook and let it go out there so that even after today, people have a reference sort of thing they can Excellent. Have. Amen. Love it. Love it. Now, mm. where do we start? Where to start? Where to we start? Where to start? Now, I need someone to come and help me. I need to communicate something. You'll be telling us something. Where to start? So, mission or communities. I think that, first of all, what we've already done is very practical. 
interesting. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about it, everything we've spoken about is practical. Prayer, yeah. knowing your knowing disciples, yes. uh, being teachable, yes. uh, evangelism. Everything is so practical. But yes. now what we want to get into is the nuts and bolts in this session. So here I am, I've started the missional community. Mm -hmm. What are some of the core things that I can do yeah. as a shepherd yeah. to make sure that I actually have real disciples and health yeah. in the mission? Because we have the missional communities, but many of them have been small or struggling or unhealthy yeah. or yeah. people, the leaders are, are willing, but they are frustrated. Mm. So the things we're going to talk about in this session are going to be so practical that if you put them to use in the next few weeks, yeah. You will really see change and growth in your mission or community immediately. Yeah. Wow. Now, I want to start with vision. Okay. Again. Mm -hmm. Because without vision, the people cast off restraint. restraint. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the people perish. perish. So, one of the reasons that MCs sometimes struggle is because they see themselves as existing for themselves. We are an MC, we are here for us. Eh? Or imagine a church that seeks to exist for itself. Wow. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work. Mm -mm. Now, we of course already know that you need to be doing evangelism once a week. Yes. Yeah. Lead one person to Christ a week. Yes. And serve a frontier once, once a month. A month. But yes. I want to give you even a grander vision for your yes. MC. Uh-huh. I see mm -hmm. a situation. Mm -hmm. Now, what is our, our mission. mission? Catalyzing spiritual, social, social and, and economic, economic renewal, renewal. Uh -huh. in our immediate communities, communities and, as, and a result, as a result, the world. The, world. the way I see it is spiritual renewal uh -huh. is with the individual. Oh. So write that down. Okay. Individual. Spiritual mm -hmm. renewal. The person. Individual. Yes. Mm. Okay. Person, individual. So I'm going to write it here. Wow. Spiritual. So for revival to happen, everyone should have personal revival. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you in personal revival? Hey. See. Are you experiencing the presence of God? Hmm. Now, that starts by being born again. <laughs> yes. yes. So, to bring spiritual in here, well, we must do evangelism Understood. and disciple the person. Because if you evangelize yeah. the person, gets born again, and you leave them there for the devil to take, wow. yeah. it's like having babies and you ah. keep leaving them in the hospital or by the roadside to Mercy die. Lord. Yeah. Mercy Lord. Yeah. Mercy Lord. So, evangelism and discipleship are the primary drivers of spiritual renewal, renewal. because it touches the individual, the person. Mm. Now, we are here to catalyze spiritual, for the purpose of catalyzing spiritual, social, social and economic renewal. renewal. Social renewal. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Social. Is that an A? Social. The home. Eh. The eh. home. I see. Wow. Mm. Imagine with me for a moment. Mm. I'm with you. That every MC mm -hmm. had the vision which they are going to have from today. They are going to have it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Of positively impacting five homes. Wow. Wow. In their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are 15 of us, mm -hmm. but we come from five different homes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, we are working to bring social renewal mm. to five. in the homes where hey. we come from. Because wow. it's one thing, I come from a home, yeah. I detach myself from that home, yeah. And I come here into the MC, yeah. escape. and the MC becomes an escape, escape. space, space. Yes. from, from, from what goes on in my, in, in my family. Oh no. Now, depending if you are going through abuse, it is maybe you need the refuge. Yes. Mm. That's different. 
Mm -hmm. But we're talking about normal life. Yes. Yeah. You, you, where you come from, there's a certain normalcy. Mm. Yeah. How the home functions. Mm. You shouldn't be running away from it. Now, you may find that you will not have the necessary renewal you need to bring renewal to your home yeah. if, if you don't you join do. the MC. Of course. The MC, yeah. Yeah. But joining the MC, the MC should be a source, a well from which we you take, draw, we draw that stuff that, that we take back we into take our homes. So if we are 15 of us, 20 of us, and we come from five different homes, mm. the idea is that five or whatever number of homes, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. every home represented in an MC wow. should be renewed. Wow. I am very encouraged by the story of Maria Peggy's MC. Eh? Oh, yes, yes. And yes. the home that was restored. Yes, completely. We watched it on. on, yes. on we did. Yeah. yes, we did. Because these children got saved. Yeah. Their father got saved. Yes. stopped yes. drinking. They started praying together. Their father started buying gifts for their mother. <laughs> and there has been total social renewal. renewal. If you haven't watched that, that thing, yeah. you should go From watch last it. Sunday. it mm. Last Sunday's yeah. MC moment. moment. Yes. No. Um, no. no. My story, my, my story. Jesus story. Mm, my testimony. Now, imagine that that was happening oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. five to ten homes. Oh, wow. Now, there are 1,200 mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. MCs mm -hmm. in worship mm -hmm. others. That means we can impact minimum 6,000 homes. Imagine 6,000 homes where the husbands are starting to buy something for the wife. Oh, wow. They've stopped drinking. Oh, wow. They had the children, because in that video, one child said they wanted to kill, to their, kill sister. their sister. Yeah. The children are no longer wanting to kill their sister. They want to love on them. That is social renewal. Social renewal will not be attained by us going off starting different NGOs uh -oh. to deal with social problems. Yeah. 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 We have to start in the home because the issues that NGOs are dealing with are there because the homes failed in the first place. So we have to go upstream, up the river, and stop the poison from being put in the water, yes. which people yeah. down the river are drinking. Yeah. Yes. Instead of distributing tablets to deal with the poison in the water, let's go stop the poison, poison. from stop being poison. introduced into the water. Into the water. Mm -hmm. Upstream. Wow. Tell me what you're feeling when we when talk about this. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I, I find it really, really important because I like for example my home I'll give my story yes um, my home when I got saved my original idea was to detach myself from home completely yeah so I, I was at church all the time hiding what I, I, do, I don't interact with people at home when I joined worship harvest this is the concept of church begins on Monday uh -huh. Yeah, it's the exact concept. When I joined Worship Harvest, plugged into Mission or Community, ETC, I started, my sister came to live with me mm -hmm. at home. We have a Mission or Community that meets at home. She joined the Mission or Community at home. My sister got born again. My sister started uh, giving fast fruit. My sister influenced the rest of my sisters. The, the rest of my sisters now go to Fanero, but she influenced them to start going to to church. Touch. On day of prayer, they were all here. I didn't call anyone. <laughs> but they came for day of prayer. Ordination, they were really excited that I was getting originally in the oh. past. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad that this engineering student and graduate is going to become a pastor. Yes. But now home, home is a place where now all my siblings, now we're organizing a, a time of prayer as a family. We have never had it, ever. But it started by my sister coming to live with me, finding an MC that meets at home that I wasn't even leading. It's just people who came to meet at, at my home, plugged into the MC, and now there is renewal in my home mm -hmm. caused, caused by the people who are in MC who learned the things that they have learned about yeah. God. So I just thought I would just put a story to it. That, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. And, and Apostle, the story you just shared, for example, I love how you've done the thing of spiritual is the individual. Yeah. So the, Maria Peggy, whose story we saw on Sunday, was invited to church by Mali, Keshamaza. 
as a friend. Wakweka. 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 <laughs> now, when Pe Maria Peggy came, she was as not in Jesus as they come. What a shock. Yeah. So she comes. Look at her now. Oh, She's so holy. Yeah. I'm like, no one can convince me this baby. girl has ever been a sinner. Uh, poor so one day ask her. So she comes to worship. That day we launched worship harvest downtown. She got born again. She walked forward and received Jesus as her Lord and Savior. She gets born again. She gets discipled. Starts a mission. Now you see the individual who got renewed. The, yeah. the individual renews through being invited. This person starts a mission or community in her community, reaches some young girls who now bring renewal to a home. Who knows what's going to come out of that home now that the renewal has come? So that the whole thing works together. These people we are evangelizing to disciple them, but don't stop there. Look within the they mission or community, and these people come from families. Yeah, come because, from Apostle, families. you're just completely changing our idea of reaching out. Yeah. That now it's not about because I would rather many of us would rather go and reach out to some Just family, and but not mine. The, the the fruit that is right there. In exactly. Our yes. Yeah. So social renewal is coming home. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Marriages. Yes. Children. Yes. yes. Joy, laughter. Parents. Family nights. Yeah. Oh. Progi. Amen. Yeah. Social renewal is coming, coming home. home. I imagine a, a location like Worship Harvest has 134 MCs. Imagine if each of them was impacting five homes. Wow. Okay. Those would be roughly 700 homes. Now, an average home in this area would have about five, five people. people. Yes. That's 3,500 3, people. That we can impact now. That we can impact now without, without adding an adding MC. Any MC. In one location. Now, here is what's interesting. Let's say, you know, a lot of some of our members are from Chambogo University. Okay. So, let's say you're a student at Chambogo. Mm. Yes. Your home is ha. in Soroti, yeah. in Bale, what? Mm. But we are, in, we are intentional about impacting that home too. Okay, how? So you start, you change how you communicate with your parents. Yes. Oh. Maybe you were detached. Yes. Yes. You were hurt by something. Yes. Yes. But now you understand that you are not just a child in the home, you are a missionary. You are a missionary in the <laughs> home. <laughs> People. You are Maybe, even God. if you are a student and you have, you know, I don't know, Somehow God sends you some pocket money miraculously. Mm, and and you decide to honor your father. Aye, aye, you send aye, them 10K. Aye, 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 time. First of all, they are going to wonder, are, Why? are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> because every day, every day, you have always been asking for money. From yes, yes, now yes, yes, yes. Now you are sending them something. Mm, mm. <laughs> you see how the home is starting to be renewed. renewed. Yeah. I want you to embrace the vision of social renewal in the home. The home. It's a ready field for the harvest. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I hope people are seeing I'm this. I'm seeing it. Yes. I really am. I'm seeing it. We are we are now at the practical vision practical. for the omission of community. Yes. And without even going outside. No, before no, no. you hit before the you frontier, go. before you hit the evangelism, it's yes. right there. Right there. Yeah. You, the, the connections to the homes are there in the mission of community. Yes. Yeah. And when you meet, you pray about you these pray. things. Th that's what you do. You pray for homes. Everyone comes and says, Give what's happening? Report. Give yes. the report. What are you Last doing time this week? you told us this is what was happening. Uh, How, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see marriages getting restored. Totally. And, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then, economic renewal. Uh -huh. hmm? Economic. This is workplace. Okay? Every person in the MC, they're either a student or, or a worker work somewhere. 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 Yeah. What happens if every MC aimed to impact every workplace represented in the MC? I so. My heart is happy. <laughs> Now, you may not be able to affect the whole organization. Yeah. You may not be the CEO. It's okay. Yeah. 
But in the office where, where you, you work where with you your work. colleagues, the seven of you, huh. what if that became a mission, mission field? field. What if that became a mission field? That when you meet and you're doing, doing catch up, because typically the catch up may be just be, be, be personal. About oh, me 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 me, 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 myself, and I, this is what the Lord has done for me, this is what he has refused to do so far, and I'm, this, these are the threats I've given him. <laughs> How about if it was, this is what's happening at my workplace as a result of my present witness. This is what's happening in my home as a result of my witness. Yeah. What would that look like? like? I have a story. Share. Uh, many years ago, when we were still all at Worship Harvest Katikati, you taught on this apostle. When you were trying to bring to, the, to us the church begins on Monday, Mm -hmm. yeah. I was fresh out of university. I had gone as an intern where I was working. And you had told us to take this posture. In fact, every Sunday, you tell us to turn to our neighbor and share how were you church. Because you are trying to change. You know, many people have come into church begins on Monday and they think it's normal. It was a completely My new shift. idea. Mm -hmm. Because it was that, no, the church is where I go on Sunday. Someone was uh, telling us on a WhatsApp group that... Yeah. They met this person. Say they they say they go to worship. Oh, you go to that church, church doesn't that doesn't have services. Eh? <laughs> oh, they think we don't have services oh, yes. mm, because we say church begins, begins on, on Monday, Monday that we don't have services on Sunday. We have services, please, on Sunday. Yes, come. Yeah. yes. But I remember that that was a complete mind change, at least for me mm -hmm. and for many of us. So every Sunday we asked and we started, we are ready to start doing that thing again. You turn to your neighbor and there were crazy stories. Yeah. So you encouraged us, whether you were in the taxi, at your workplace. You, so this is what happened for me. As a student fresh out of university, I was doing internship. I was so intentional. I was there as a representative of heaven. Hmm? Yes. So I remember going in and everything they gave me. I would do so well and I would keep telling them I'm born again so that it's clear to them. There so <laughs> before long, it was clear to everyone, but now they started to, there was a promotion coming in, first of all, out of excellence. And then started to invite people from the workplace mm -hmm. to garage. My boss got saved at Worship Harvest Katikati. Wow. wow. Two of my workmates got saved at Worship Harvest Katikati. Wow. wow. Oh, yes. And then I started, it wasn't a fellowship necessarily, but when whatever you would teach us, like about finances, I would tell people, if you come at 7 in the morning, we'll meet and I'll teach you some things they are teaching us at church, which are helping our finances, then we can start work at 8. Eventually, wow. everyone in the department was coming by 7. We were learning principles from the building, the discipling culture, but for the workplace, wow. Apostle. Before long, that department was so good that it was like for Sub-Saharan Africa, they were coming to study us using principles from church. church into the, but yep. then marriages got better. We were doing counseling for married people. We were praying for people who needed to get babies. We were, so the workplace, that, the department that used to be, I can't explain it to you. It wasn't nice. The people, there are some of them who actually <laughs> now belong to worship harvest, but came from that workplace because this Kayang girl from university, I was being intentional. Yeah. about yeah. my workplace not just being a place where I, I remember you made me feel like I'm not here to earn a salary I'm like Joseph and like Daniel I'm yeah. here to bring the blessing yeah. and so when you have that mindset you don't go to work as a place to take from yeah. you go to take something with you there you don't look at your boss as just a boss they are a person who you need to reach for the kingdom of God and how you work changes how you think changes buying people lunch yeah. buying people, it was you become this person at the workplace that is a, a, a connection to the kingdom of God. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that's what we're going to do. That's what we are going to do. We are turning this thing inside out. Yeah. Your MC doesn't exist for itself. Your MC is not a cruise ship that exists for its <laughs> members. It is a battleship, battleship. that exists to expand Extend kingdom influence. Yeah. A battleship. I even feel like we should pray into this right now. Please, yes, yes. yes. Pastor Blessolidas, pray. 
Holy Spirit. for this particular issue, yes. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you that you're opening our eyes. Thank you, Lord, that you came to seek and save the lost. Lord, these people are in our homes. These people are in our workplaces. These people are around us, God. Thank you, Lord, that you're anointing us. You're opening our eyes, giving us new ideas. Lord, opening up our minds to receive this truth of God and giving us favor. Lord, I thank you that you're giving us favor to our yes. places in our homes, oh God. Father, you've given us a word that each and every one of us is going to become a priest in our families, both nuclear and extended. So, Lord, we receive this word. We receive this instruction as a fulfillment of that prophecy, O oh God. And so, Lord, I declare over every MC, O oh yes. God, I declare over every MC leader, over every MC member, over every disciple in this movement, O oh God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you, you're teaching us to connect our environment, to connect our networks, to connect our neighborhoods, to the kingdom because this is why you came this is what you've taught us to do that may your kingdom come may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven so lord we surrender our hearts to you we surrender our homes to you we surrender our minds to you we surrender our workplaces to you wherever we are lord father we ask that you give us the wisdom the grace to obey and the strength to keep doing this reach out as we advance your kingdom in the homes and in the workplaces lord we thank you we bless your name in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. Wow. amen. beautiful amen. yeah so eh. on the vision that's what we are going for <laughs> individual renewal spiritual renewal of the individuals oh, so social renewal in the, in the homes Economic renewal in the, the workplace. workplace. Because that's where there is the economy. That's where you're starting jobs, you're starting businesses, employing people, or working in an existing business and mm -hmm. getting to improve it. Mm -hmm. And as you bring economic renewal, it is also transforming people's lives. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Apostle, I, I, I have a story. Go, go ahead. For economic renewal. Um, Pastor Babi works. Um, at a company where she has been promoted speedily over time. Mm. She's now a department head, but from the time she started working there, most of the people who work with her are now born again because mm. they go to Ashiba Vespugolovi, dif different locations, but they are now born again because when she went into that place, she started ministering to yes. these people, sharing with them everything she was learning. This thing of sharing the link <laughs> online, she would just share the link with them and they started catching on. Many of them have plugged into Worship Harvest. They've started MCs. They are now winning souls. And recently she was telling me um, she got this thing that we do in Worship Harvest saving for the yes. company. So she's opened up a savings thing for the company in UAP, in, in, um, in with Alan Taewa, what's that thing? Club 1000. A club 1000 for the company, but also for the people in her department. Mm. The, when I go there to pick her, hey, 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 hey. I feel... I You're feel a hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because she, she's taking this thing, that the organization has changed yes. because of this thing that you're talking about. So I believe it's going to cause a revolution. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Intentionality. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord. Yeah. Now, what's the next thing we want to deal with? The, the composition of a missional community. Mm. The leadership. Yes. Yeah. If a missional community is led by one person, <laughs> if that person catches a fever, yeah. the MC the has literally caught a fever. But it has <laughs> happened. Yeah, they don't so there will be no meeting if the person goes up country, the, uh, the whole up. MC has gone. So we are moving away from individual leadership because it's not even kingdom. It's really not. Even God is not it's alone. His Father, his Son, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Even Adam, he said it is not good for, for him to be alone. Be alone. Yeah. Even when he called Moses, he gave him Aaron and Imagine Miriam. Immediately. 
even David had David's mighty, mighty men. Wow. Even Solomon had 12 governors. Yeah. Wow. Even Jesus had 12 disciples and 70 others also. And when he, he sent, sent to them, Paul had he many. sent them to bite. <laughs> yes, he sent them to bite. And even At Moses least. had uh, what? 12 <laughs> leaders of Israel and yes. 70 elders. Yes. So you can't do great things leading alone. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. So we are immediately proposing that every MC should have five leaders. Come on. Okay. Five <laughs> leaders. Because <laughs> we are a leadership <laughs> development organization. We raise leaders yes. for, yeah. for the continent. Yeah. So, MC structure. Maybe you had heard this from your location, Pastor, or you hadn't yet. The first person is the MC Shepherd. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the person who either started the mission or community or the person who started handed over to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are the current leader. Yeah. And then we have the assistant MC Shepherd. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. So those are the first two. First two. Yeah. Now I want to talk about the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to propose that the MC Shepherd is mainly apostolic. Okay. Uh -huh. They are mainly engaged with the MC's raids Wait. into enemy territory <laughs> the five homes the five workplaces the five workplaces yes the individual yes. renewal is this mission or community fulfilling, fulfilling its, its purpose mandate. yeah it's mm -hmm. mandate you know that mm -hmm. that every airplane that has passengers on it must have two pilots yes mm -hmm. the pilot in command mm. yeah and they are what do they call that yeah, co -pilot. co -pilot. The co-pilot. Yeah. yeah. That's that standard. standard. You can't fly a plane by yourself unless you're on a solo flight. Mm. Mm. That's good. The pilot in command and the co-pilot. Mm. There was Moses and Aaron. Mm. Yeah. There was Peter, James, John. John. There's always the other people who stabilize the yes, thing. Yes. Yeah. Now, the, this co-pilot, the assistant MC Shepherd, should be mostly focused on the well-being of the, the members. members. They should be pastoral. Yeah. Yes. So it's not typical, but in most homes, the husband is focused on the the well-being of the home yes, outside. outside. What's mm. the vision of this house? Yes. Are we accomplishing it out there? Yes. Going to work, doing this, doing this. And then the mother Stabilize. is focused on the well-being well of the being. people inside. Yeah. Nurturing. Nurturing. Now, I'm not in any way suggesting that all assistants should be ladies. But no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using pictures. Yes, so you find us. that the co-pilot is not always a different no, gender. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm using different pictures. I hope you're seeing I'm it. seeing the wisdom of God. So one person on the leadership should be focused on the mission of the MC. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a missional community. community. And then one person should be focused on the community of the MC. Yes. Mm -hmm who is not well, yeah. whose school fees is how, where. Because you find that the MC leader, they are also overwhelmed by the it's needs of the people. So they are no longer focusing on the what? Yes. On the mission. mission. Yeah. yeah, it's true. But if it's someone true. comes with a personal issue, you just send them to, to, the, the, assistant. to the assistant because the assistant has systems in ah. place to deal with that, yeah. to deal with that issue. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, man, this is so cool. I hope people are seeing. Yes. We are seeing. Then after you have this to say after. After. after you have a, a garage mobilizer. 
Let me call them really M-O-B. The M-O-B. Hey. <laughs> M-O-B. Garage M-O-B. Why are people happy about M-O-B? Well, it's someone's word. <laughs> the idea of having MC members who don't attend garage uh-uh. should be perished permanently. From today. Yeah. Forget it, repent from it, mm. yeah. delete it, Those are not wash disciples. it. Those are yes. not disciples. Not at all. If you're a disciple, we expect you to attend services. Yes. Bare minimum. Faithfully. Mm. Yeah. Faithfully. If you travel to another city, there is a worship harvest location in that city. Uh, yeah. 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 Attend. If you are there is none, there is a, you are online. Attend online yeah. and tell your disciple you attended yes. and this was yes. the message. Mm. We are not here to play games. If no. you want a traditional church which is contributing to the death of Christianity, go find it. Don't come to this one. We are not here to oversee, uh, to pontificate over and supervise the end of the faith in our generation. That's no. all we have to do. Mm. No. God didn't call us to bury the church. No. God didn't call us to supervise the end of the church. No. God didn't call us to shift the church to where it can no longer be distinct from the world, where all the sins in the world are also in the church. That's not what God called us to do. Not at all, sir. He didn't bring us on board to canalize his church. Canality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where the people outside, they sleep with whoever they want and also the people inside no. sleep with whoever they want. No, that's not what we were called to do. No. Where the people outside sleep with people they have never been married to, even the people inside. That's not what we no. are called to do. So people should go to garage. It's not. Look, you go to work every day. Exactly. Five days a week, six days a week. Six. Yeah. Church Sunday, Sunday, one day a week. week You must set it aside to focus on God. Yes. Yes. When people in other countries became too clever for God, Uh and they said they can remain Christians without doing that. Their yeah. church buildings are now discotheques and mosques. mosques yeah. You've been giving painfully to arise and build all these years. Do you, you want that building you gave to, to one day become a, no, a shopping no, mall? No, 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 no. no, no or a discotheque. No. Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> then go to church every Sunday. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Hmm. Oh, yes. We continue. We, we continue. Apostle, it begins with us, the shepherds. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Before we mobilize the people, I want yeah. you to know that I know things. Yeah. There are MC shepherds mm. who are watching right mm-hmm. now who have no plan to come to garage tomorrow. Mercy. They've already planned ahead of time. Like you're working for the devil, but you are yeah. somehow inside this so church. How are you going to be a shepherd? In fact, if you're a shepherd, you should be serving on a team. At garage, you like naturally, it's like the location pastor who doesn't serve on Sunday. The, they are the location <laughs> pastor, but they, they are off sometimes on Sunday, they are too tired to serve. To show up. You know, so you show up, you should be serving on a team. You should be because you're the shepherd. That's how you know who came for which yeah. service, because yeah. you're available for all the services. Yeah. So it begins with us. We must know that the shepherd lays down their life for others. For sheep, we yeah. are missionaries, we yeah. are out. For the, for the mission of God in the world. So that thing Apostle has spoken about, it's so, because it begins with that. It has become a very critical thing that we have a mobilizer. Imagine, yes. Yeah. That their whole job in the MC is, is to, to make sure that every, every member shows up attending has around. gone to church. Yes. Yeah. Knock on that door. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord, to the house of the Lord. Hey! 
can't touch this man. I like it. Four. The fourth leader is the outreach coordinator. Okay? This is about evangelism and frontiers. frontiers. Oh, now, you, before this, this person here used to do all of these tasks. Eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good message. Yes. Mm. And then the fifth. Money. Treasure. The treasure. Treasure. Because you may find that this MC, to succeed in its outreaches, they will need money. Yeah. Yes. For the frontiers. Yes. Yeah. This MC is going to be coming together with others to hire a, gar a, a taxi. A bus, yeah. yes. To take their members. You see, taxis, the they members. sit 14 people. Uh -huh. yeah. That's an so MC. MC. Yeah. And yeah. if you add in the people you're trying to impact from the home ah, and, and workplace, ah, then the taxi is really, really full. <laughs> yeah. But the taxi is not free. No, sir. So, the treasurer has to make sure they have mobilized resources to pay the taxi to take the MC members to church. Yeah. Or whatever other money they need for mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So this is the basic leadership team. Wow. And then these people can also double as huddle leaders in the it's MC. In MC. Okay. Maybe you guys can add something. Apostle, I have two questions. One, um, what's, what, what does the, out, the outreach co coordinator, what are they doing? Because we've just painted the picture of the mission, right? The person who knew all the home and the... Remember, this no, is the leader. Is the yes. Ship. This person has the vision. Yes. yes. This person shouldn't come up with a vision that's different from... That's why Very they're a, a coordinator. Okay. Yes. Very Not important. initiator. Yes. Uh -huh. So this leader is depending on this leader to make sure that Frontier is well thought through and yes. executed okay. yeah. and that they are all doing evangelism, evangelism every week. Every week. Every week. Okay. Yeah. But this person is learning to lead by not doing... You know what many MC leaders do? Ah. They say, you've refused to do evangelism, go let me go and do it myself. That's the worst. <laughs> you are not leading, you are doing. Yourself. You are not a leader, mm. you are a doer. And thank God you're a doer because there are people who are not even doers. Oh, <laughs> but to be a leader, you must bring others along. Yeah. Yes. Okay? Mm. Yeah. That's very, very So as a leader, you may find that you don't have all strengths. Of course. But you're going to look in your MC and realize there is someone who is strong. very strong about pastoring the yes. MC. Visiting people. Visitations, what? Yeah. They arrange the cake, everything. Yes. You make them your assistant. Yes. Yeah. Then you realize there's someone who is very good with mobilization. Yeah. 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 Put him in charge of taking everyone to garage. Yeah. Then you realize there's someone who, when you haven't done evangelism mm. yeah. in the MC, even you, the leader, where you are not, like, <laughs> even you are not happy, but this person is crying. They are, for them, they are weeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then make the outreach <laughs> coordinator. <laughs> and then you find that there's someone, they are good with resources. Mm. Yeah. They can account for everything. Mm. Yeah. Then make that person the treasure. Okay. I think you answered, sort of my answer, my second question, because if I'm the shepherd now, I'm saying, how do I choose, select people to be on this, on and is it that they are Now don't choose life? a treasurer who has never given anything oh, yes. every time you have collected yes. money for Frontier. Yes. They don't who ask who for money. Who don't <laughs> don't oh, find a brother for that. Don't find a brother who is always asking for transport to and go home and make them the treasurer. You are tempting you them. them transport. Oh, wow. Okay, Apostle, what if I, right now I have three people in my mission or community and I need the five for that. Have you heard of evangelism? Eh. <laughs> what a shock. For the moment you, you know things, Apostle. You become the outreach coordinator. <laughs> and get people in. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's how you grow your MC through something we call PEV. Come on. Maybe huh? there are people who have never heard of PEV. It's possible. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Pe. This is from the book of Acts. Just how you maintain spiritual dynamism in the MC. Come on now. Praying. Praying. Or oh, let's say prayer. Evangelism. Evangelism. Visitation. Visitation. Teaching. Teaching. And healing. Healing. These are miracles. Mm. Prayer, evangelism, visitation, teaching, healing. Pepf. Pepf. Mm-hmm. If you start alone, mm. like this, like this, mono, you can grow into 500 <laughs> using just this thing here in six months. Apostle. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, in a year. I know people have done it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are locations that have done this. The Interior right. Central is just celebrated. Was one it year. one year the other day? Yeah. Yes. They have many people. Even planted churches. They have. They have more than two hundred people attending garage, and yeah. they have almost five hundred disciples. Yeah. Wow. One year. Wow. Yeah. Well, you get it after one year, they planted two churches and now they are planted three. Okay. How this? You pray yes. for power okay. to do evangelism. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The purpose of the anointing, which comes by prayer, is evangelism. evangelism. Yes. Anointing comes by prayer. The Holy Spirit rarely comes upon non-praying people. The purpose mm-hmm. of prayer yes. is for you to be filled by the Holy Spirit. Yes, mm-hmm. You know, many people think the purpose of prayer is for God to answer their, their, their prayer, prayers. They are to meet their needs. No, 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 no. It's not. The primary purpose of prayer is for you to be soaked by the presence of God. Wow. That's why they were <laughs> 10 days praying for mm. the Holy Spirit. Mm. Not for things. Mm. You know, Pastor Skinner stepped down yesterday. Mm-mm. But those people, they've had dramatic... I, I, she, the Pastor Marilyn was telling the story yeah. of when thieves came. 25 <laughs> Like 25 <laughs> men trying to get into the house and the husband was away. Yes. Yeah. And they banged that door for three hours. And it did not break and out. It did not, and this is a door that she said she herself, she, she, yes. she could just... Knock it with one with one hand, yeah. they banged the door for three hours and they did not get through That's it. Power. That's power. Another time, thugs entered the house. Yes. They cocked the gun. Yes. They shot. Yeah. The gun refused to work. Power. Those guys. So when you see what the way it is, just don't make assumptions. Don't don't think <laughs> those things you've been thinking. Uh, don't think the thoughts you are thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah. The church didn't become like that by accident. By accident. No. Mm. Prayer. Prayer. Everything by prayer. Everything That's how you start prayer. life. Ben Mukasa out in Budaka. He didn't carry anyone with him to start Not a location. <laughs> in Budak. In Budak. He was by himself. Yeah. Those of you who you want to take all your friends from the zone because they've sent you to start a, a, a community. community. A hosting center. <laughs> so you want to take everyone, the keyboard player, the drummer, everyone who yeah, wow. <laughs> They will even become a headache. Completely. I mm. eat. You go there and trust God. God. Yes. Yeah. I really feel like this year we are going to grow very rapidly. Amen. Because we are getting back to the things that yes. matter. So you pray and evangelize. The purpose of prayer is to be filled by the Holy Spirit so that you can do evangelism. evangelism. 
When you do evangelism, there is something that happens. People join your mission or community. <laughs> because they have been saved. saved. Yeah. And what do you do? You, you go up, visit, visit them. them. Follow up involves visitation. Yes. Yeah. You must get to know where the person lives. They should draw for you a map. Mm -hmm. do, you know, do you know what I took in the earlier years when it was KPC? Yeah. Meeting in the Imperial Hotel. All the new guests left a map, a map to, their to their home, home. and Pastor Skinner would ride his bike, motorbike, and go visit them personally. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Mm. He had a, a motorbike. A motorbike. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You would draw, draw a map. Those days there was no Google Maps. It's work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they had to draw a map. And there was no mobile phone. Mobile phone. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There were so no mobile phones. On the map entirely. <laughs> no mobile phone, no Google Maps. So it was That's all analog. Map. You draw a map and the man would drive would ride, and now you can't call and say I'm lost, no, so the sir. map had better be accurate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Teaching. Yeah. Teaching them to observe. Yeah. Take them through the upmost challenge. Yes. Make sure they are locked on during MC, MC Life. life. Yes. Make sure they go to garage. Yes. That's why you need a garage a mobilizer. mobilizer. And healing. Yeah. You realize that these four, they cover they the four, four of the five committee pos uh, uh, team yes, positions. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Prayer, this is by the leader. The leader, vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Evangelism, outreach, outreach coordinator. coordinator. Visitation, assistant, assistant, assistant leader. Shepherd. Teaching, garage, garage mobilizer. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. then maybe healing might be the treasure. treasure. Of those. <laughs> <laughs> healing of the body. Performs miracles. <laughs> So, your MC is small, this is Pave. how it gets big. Yeah. Yes. Look, there have been cheaper ways of doing it than this. You have four. Mm. Let everyone bring, bring one, one person the next week. week. You will see <laughs> in one month. <laughs> like, what does it take you to bring one, one person, person to a mission? Mi no. mission no. Okay. Like, what kind of anointing is that you lack that you can't bring one, one person? person. <laughs> Mercy, <laughs> <laughs> Who is probably already even saved. Like, how can yes. you even say that you, you, you pray every morning and God right. speaks to you, but you but cannot you bring, bring one, one person, person to the MC. Mercy. Ah, that's not you. It's hey, not no, me. It's not. It's not. You, you're going to bring 10 people to your MC. Amen. Because there are 10 friends you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who should be in your MC? Andrew wow. brought Peter to Jesus. Yes. He yeah. didn't know he was going to give him a place in the history of the history world, of the world. Yeah. as Forever. the primary apostle of Jesus yes. in all of history. All the popes and, uh, are named in the seat of St. Peter. Yeah. And wow. what if Andrew had never oh, brought Peter to Jesus? What a loss. Who is it you are not bringing to the MC that Peter. is going to preach to a million people? They can't. All right. Any other questions or we are done here? No, I've answered mm. all my questions. Sir. Answered. <laughs> now we must do the work. Yeah. Yes. And when you finally get to meet MC's pet, they pray together, play <laughs> together, <laughs> eat, eat together, grow together, together. go on mission, mission together. together. Yeah. Uh, Apostle, I know that you've gone through that peg thing quickly because maybe you feel like we but one of, the things that I know what I, you're the, one of the things that I found <laughs> out is that the MC meetings are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have anything to eat when they show up. What? Yes, Paposo. There Pray is no together. There's no so fun. People are serious. serious. They are the class monitors. It no feels like a, 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 a church. <laughs> yes, no play, Play no together. Joking, no what? Yeah, so please just help us and show us what a nice community family meeting looks like. Together. <laughs> and no things. Huh? What is it? Grow? Grow, grow. Go, grow together and go and on go mission, mission together. together. Go on mission together. So, it's Wednesday. Mm. I'm the MC leader. Come on now. You've been fasting. We've been fasting. Please remember, sir. Ah. 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 
we've been fasting. Now, I did not wait all of week to communicate to you on Wednesday. Are you hey. sure? I didn't forward. You did forward me the message from no. the Zono Pastor. At Every at day, I've been. We have been communicating on our WhatsApp group. No. How is everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Sending the voice notes from oh. my Bible study. Wow. Maybe I read about John. One six, there was a man sent from God whose, whose name, name was, was John. John. So I get a revelation. So I send you a voice note, guys. There was a man sent from God. You are also a man sent from God. Your name is so and so. You're going to impact a little people. God bless you. I bless you today. May you, may you really flourish. Like may you whatever, whatever. You are amazing. I oh, love you. Ah. Still, and it's not on yeah. Wednesday for the meeting. No, eh? no, no this Wednesday is not Wednesday. Wow. <laughs> this is even like Friday. <laughs> Yeah. And you do want Friday. something from yeah. me. Why? Like Thursday, I'm saying, guys, thanks so much for coming for yesterday's MC meeting. Yeah. I hope you are blessed. What stood out for you? Blah, blah. It is that yeah. Thursday. Friday, yeah, yeah. Then uh, Saturday, we go for evangelism. The and then I say, Th guys, thanks so much for coming for evangelism. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine all the souls that we are one? Then Sunday, we are at garage. We even eat it's at the Brin Cafe after, after garage, garage together. Together. Apostle, people are confused about what you're talking about. <laughs> Are we confusion? still discussing the mission yes. leader? Yeah. And then on Tuesday, I send you a message. What, how what, what? And tell you when. Week. How can I pray for you? Is there anything this I can week. do yeah. to, to serve you? Yeah. Yeah, that's how uh, you would lead the mission committee. Then Wednesday, you, you meet. Now, well, now, it is Wednesday evening. People yes. are coming. Yes. yes. Because they Maybe really some are stuck in traffic, so they are watching MC Live on their They're way in the taxi, but the you are way. communicating yes. on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what Pastor Bethany put on today? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's so funny. <laughs> Did you see how this moves? So, yeah, like, you play together. So, you arrive and there's a snack and oh. something to drink. Maybe everyone snack? brought something okay. to share. So, you lay out the table, you put some essentials. Yeah. 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 You as the leader, don't expect people to bring everything. Okay. So, then they bring the. And then, my preferred modus operandi is mm. eat on arrival. Yes. And I want to sell, to sell that, sell it, that vision to all of you in worship. Yeah. If you ever come to a meeting where I am, either at my home or anything, we eat on oh, arrival. Exactly. What's the point of keeping people around who are hungry uh -uh. and annoyed um, they were even and fasting. then the effective part of the meeting starts after they've eaten? Uh -uh. So uh -uh. eat uh -uh. on arrival. arrival. When should you eat? Eat, eat on, on arrival. arrival. Eat on arrival, catch up, and then sit, watch the broadcast. Yeah. Wow. Okay? Yeah. We watch the broadcast together. You're going together. Yes. Then you break out. Ah, that one. In Talk about hurdles. In hurdles. What are hurdles? And your hurdles are smaller groups within the MC, three to four people. Okay. Yeah. Three to five. five. Okay. And you're asking, what is Jesus saying to you? What are you going to know about? Because if you're 20 of you and you start doing what it's is Jesus saying, it's happen. not going to end. Yeah. It's not even going to be effective. Do we yeah. do this every time we meet? Yes, a every time we meet. Uh, possibly every time. Maybe once a month we don't do it because we have the party. party day. On the party day we don't do it, but the other times we do it. Okay. And so everyone gives accountability. First of all, what Jesus told them last, last week, week, which they were going to do something about uh, what did they do. Uh, then after we have finished that, then we say what he's telling you today. Yeah. So the hado is the same hado every time. We don't change it. No, no, week. you don't switch, switch it up. <laughs> no, so I'm just asking. Hey, you do you change MCs every week? Okay, personally. All locations. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Today you are in Alia, next week you are in Gayaza, the other week Makerere, no mm, place. Okay. So it's the same hado. The same way the MC is the same okay. MC. The same way the location is the same location. The hado is the same hado. So if mm -hmm. I if we bring new guests, which hado do they go to? Uh, you put the guest in the hado of the person who invited, invited them. them. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so you see it, you do the what they're saying to you. Then after that, when you come back together, mm -hmm. uh, and then you pray together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For the homes now. You're praying for the homes now, the catch up. Homes, personal. Yeah. yeah. So you're the leader, mm. the leader leads the leader. in praying for the people. Yeah. All, and you pray, you pray, you pray together. And then, yeah, you people, close. People yeah. live at will. Yeah. And then once in a while, maybe not in a long while, so once a month, you have the party. The party. Yeah. So there are no hurdles. So, okay, yes. what? what? You watch MC Live, there is Pastor Steve leading us in dance. dance. You What? You eat. You dance. You, ah, you have a good time. You go home. 
Mm-hmm. But if I was an MC leader, do you know what I would do? Mm-hmm. I would get do all my members mm. once in a while, not a long while, and mm. we all go to the beach in Entebbe. Yes. Yeah. Like on a Saturday. As we we used MC. to do that when we were as an, an MC. MC. Yes. 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 And we would each carry something to yeah. eat. Everyone yes. brings something. Pot then you, you borrow a party box from yes. one of the locations. Oh. Yeah. You go oh, to the blast. beach. You go to the beach, a book water. a space. Mm. You play volleyball, football, That's find out whether people's legs family. still la- work, <laughs> <Legs>. run around. <laughs> ah, blast, 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 come back tired but happy. Yeah. And that You've works connected. also for the smaller locations. Exactly. If yes. you are a small location yes. of 200 people or less, Do you it. should go together to mm. the beach. Yeah. The whole yes. long, yeah. yeah. Wow. And you yeah. go have fun, hear people's stories, how their lives have been changed. That's how you build community. You don't build community yeah. by being in a square room every time. Wow. Why are people asking that? On the party with that apostle, we celebrate birthdays. Did I hear a party? <laughs> wow, there should be birthday celebrations every month. Every last MC of the month, we yes. have yes. the MC party. It's when we cut the cake for, for all the, the people who had birthdays that in month. That month. Cake, cake is cut. All right. I think we have reached uh, wow. the last section. Yes. So we are going to go again. Yes. And this time it will be over lunch. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there is lunch where you are. Hey. <laughs> you? you know things. And what you are going to do is how, what improvements does your MC need, need to, to make, make now? Yes. Uh-huh. Is it yeah. the leadership team is missing people? Mm-hmm. 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 Is it you are not paving so you're not growing? You're is it not you're begging. not pegging so you're not having quality? Yeah. You don't have community. Yeah. So Pastor Jeremy, the top five. Top five. And remember that, f- that also to talk about the homes and workplaces. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We are about to hear the top five. Did we say top five? Top five. Yes, top five. Top five to top ten. There were five. Okay, top five most engaged zones or locations that I'm meeting. Uh, meanwhile, you can tell us what is prepared for lunch where you are. Some, La- someone is saying question. lasagna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> someone says, I still have a question. Is yeah. the frontier different from the individual home and workplace renewal? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Because the frontier, you're going out together. Uh-huh to reach a specific neighborhood or network of relationships for impact. Yes. Mm-hmm. The home and workplace thing is being done oh, yeah. by the members by the member. in yes. the MC. Yes. It's not a joint effort. Yeah. We only report back for prayer and for prayer support. And encouragement. Yeah. Mm. All right. So the top five that I've sent you, Apostle, they, they, they're just the, the names of the people. Ah. Mm. But we want, we are, we are supposed to be celebrating zones. They were naming their zones, but the names we've received, I know some, I know some of them where they are, apart from the first one. The first one, the first I also one. know where they are. You know where they're from, eh? Makere? All right. That is Chikoni Zone. So rest in Ambusi. Chikoni Zone. Chikoni Makere. Zone. Makere. Makere. Worship Harvest Makere. Jose the Great, he finally woke up. <laughs> Worship Harvest <laughs> Kawempe. <laughs> Shalak Gabi, this is what zone? Gaza. What zone? Chisasi. Chis- Chisasi zone. <laughs> Worship Harvest Gaza. We are celebrating the zone, <laughs> not the person. No, yeah. it's the entire zone. Maria oh, Peggy. Um, Najera zone. Najera zone. Worship Harvest Harvest downtown. downtown. And Pastor Philip Tasobia. Worship Harvest Ginger. Worship Harvest Ginger. I wonder what zone. Mm. So those five people are going to receive a gift on behalf of the zones or locations. Come on now. From, uh, uh, from uh, Pastor Bethany's good office. Hey. Yes. So thank you for being the top engaged people. Are out there online. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Excellent. Yes. Is there anything left? No. What's so the next conversation the is happening over lunch. Yes. And yeah. when you finish lunch, you go home. Yes. Go and relax. relax. Put your feet up. 
Of course, unless your MC hasn't yet done evangelism. <laughs> Please. In which case you're going for evangelism. Putting your feet up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anything else? Apostle, thank you so much. Thank you. This yeah. has been so good. Yeah. So, 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 so good. And we are going to cut out section yes. by section. Yes. We are going to avail them on YouTube. Yeah. We are going to avail them on podcast, on Podbean, on over Google Podcast. We are going to avail them all over so that we can do these again in our spaces and a bit more regularly as we get new MC Shepherds coming on board. Yeah. Because this is so foundational and I feel the same way that we are really going to grow. Like we are going to be so fruitful yeah. because we've gone back to the foundations. I think that people are feeling helped. People are feeling like lights have come on and yeah. they can go and actually do. Yeah. So thank you so much, shepherds, for gathering. Zono, pastors for gathering the people. Location, pastors for gathering the people. Shepherds for showing up. Yeah. This has been so so good and we've done it in february at the beginning so imagine what's going to happen by june by november mm. if we stick with the same things mm -hmm. and keep doing them thank you yeah. so much apostle this thank has you. been so good yeah. so so good awesome why don't yeah. we pray thank you father for today thank you for all the shepherds and all the zono pastors gathered and all the location pastors father this is the year of fruitfulness we speak multiplication. We speak expansion. We speak depth. That they will lack nothing good. That they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That brings forth its fruit in its season. Thank you Lord. Bless them. Abundantly. In Jesus name.